Hello everyone and welcome to Sweet Talks with Ben. On today's Sweet Talk, we're going to be looking at the specifications wizard and how that can help streamline your building process. Let's go ahead and navigate to the contracts and docs field by the navigation bar here. Then under contract templates, select documents and then the specifications folder. Once we're here, you'll notice the specifications wizard icon. So we're going to go ahead and launch that. Now just like the other wizards that are throughout Construction Suite, the specification wizard is going to give you a step-by-step -step directional on how to create the specification booklet. First thing we're going to want to do is to choose which template we're wanting to use as the basis for the specs booklet. Now depending on your uh, version of Construction Suite, you'll notice that we have a number of different templates ranging from the CSI 16 division commercial all the way down through uh, CSI 50 division residential. Uh, but for today, let's just go ahead and stick with the CSI 16 residential template there. We'll click next. Now, if you are creating a new template for the specifications wizard, then you can just overlook and bypass the contact information and project information here because you can input that later on. Um, and so let's go ahead, we'll just click next here and get directly to the specifications for this template that we are creating. Now on the left hand side of the specifications wizard window, we'll notice that we have our divisions set up, everything from general requirements down to the electrical, just the standard CSI 16 division format there. We can pick and choose what all divisions we want to include here, just so we can have control of the amount of information within the specs book. Same goes for the levels. Uh, we can choose what all we're wanting to, to include here within each division specific to your job. Now as we're looking through the different levels here, uh, you'll notice that we have a good bit of specification text. Now this text is going to be details pertinent to the level of that division and you can definitely change that as you see fit. Not only can you adjust the amount of information by adding to it or subtracting from it, you can certainly change the font as well. Uh, whether if you want it bold or what color it is, anything like that, whatever helps you out the best, you can certainly do. Now as we look through these different levels here, we'll notice most of the time it's black text, but occasionally we see black text mixed with blue text. Uh, you can consider that in the same light as the auto-populating fields within the majority of our contracts and documents as is. So when you first generate a document anywhere else within Construction Suite, you'll notice that those auto-populating fields are blue, and it's just a reminder to you that that is information that's going to be changing per project. Same, same thing applies here. So we'll see that this black text, that can be rel you know, relevant to any project across the board. However, maybe you're only going to be um, working with candlelight that's going to provide you know, half a foot candle of light or 15 foot candle of light depending on that project and so that blue text there just is works as a reminder for you as you create that specs book being able to go back through take a look at that information and adjusting per project now we'll go ahead and click next here now like I said originally when we were first creating the specifications booklet here we actually had the choice as to assigning it to a contact, assigning it to a project, or you could just leave it blank. So if we were going to leave it blank in order to create a new template, we certainly could go ahead and do so here. Um, and so we would just say, you know, new spec template. And then we would click finish, and that would create just a new template that we could use later on uh, throughout the building process for future projects, anything like that. Or we can just save it as the current template. Just use that CSI 16 residential division that we had set up and click finish. Now once we click finish, that's going to launch the OnPoint specifications book generator here. And we'll see that as soon as OnPoint launches, we are prompted with a document management wizard. So this allows us to go ahead and input that contact information and project information again. Just gives us another choice. So let's go ahead, we'll assign Alice Gorey for the specifications booklet and assign it to the 808 22nd Street project here. We'll notice that her same contact information and project information that's in the project details pulls into this as well and we'll click OK to create the book. Once the book has been created, 
We'll notice here it is just a pretty standard specifications book as well. We see all the project uh, company and client information populate here as well. And as we scroll down, we'll notice all of the specifications that we chose to include as well. Like I said, the blue is going to be text that you might want to review before you submit it just because it may change per project. So you certainly could go ahead, uh, review this. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and submit all the, or change all the blue ink to black ink. And then you'll be ready to go ahead and submit the specifications to the contact if you're choosing. Well, that concludes today's Sweet Talk. If you like what you see, I definitely encourage you to check out the other videos that we have available to you. As always, this has been, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day.